difficult to, to get out. But Boss and Isolus Laser, I don't have many expectations. Boss have to show us that they are ready. Isolus Laser, an opportunity to take a bigger name than one they've taken so far. We are at long last into the game, ladies and gentlemen. Again, delays because of the... Uh, the longer than expected South American ECL game earlier in the day, but better late than never. Boss versus Izolos Laser. Boss starting on the defense kit for Freshie with a smoke. Interesting call. I think it's typically been another player picking up the kit rather than Freshie. And on the Izolos Laser side of things, we have two or one set of utilities spread out on two players. Landon throwing a smoke towards red and a Molotov on Tatazin, presumably for a quick take. Everyone out middle and it's trades back and forth favoring Izolo's laser. Moth comes through with a big pair and now Slight is left in a one versus three. There is a potential flank from Donut. He can't worry about that now. Immediate forces against him out towards bottom middle and on the reload, Slight's able to slip through the smoke before Landon can catch him. But Slight goes out, not expecting Landon who whiffs a couple of shots, gets the dink and the finish eventually. And so the mid scrim, all five out mid, ends relatively cleanly for Izola's laser. That smoke helping them out significantly. And Boss able to do more than just two kills. We'll go down here and probably not going to force into round number two, save their money for the third round of this half. And Laser will go in with a couple of Mac 10s, a Galil on W1 and Landon. Moth will hold on to the AK, bolstered by those two frags. And so it should be a pretty clean second round here for the Brazilians. Should be a clean second. But you never know with these USPs. They are playing the numbers game as well towards B, which definitely could help them in their chances to get a kill. Rifle-centric investment for the laser squad, though. Makes sense. It'll give them a very solid bonus going forward in round three. Landon playing outside the B doors. Kind of whipping the spray there. He does it. Man two before finally falling, but the rifle is recoverable. Tata Zine, a third, trading out onto Freshy. Cryptic, though. An IGL entry getting a rifle. Oh, he's caught by the MAC-10. That leaves just Darty in the cubby and alone. It's not getting cleared, and Noko is quite low. This is a real opportunity for Darty to find a kill if he forces the issue. He does not have that luxury of information. He'll walk up cat, spots the head of one, but he's also spotted in kind. W1 puts him to bed. As you mentioned, a pretty clean second for the laser team. Yep. Perfect round there from... Almost perfect round there from laser. And they'll have rifles across the board here and now. Galil's on three, AK's on two. And boss will buy what they can. M4A1s, Fruit Cup and Freshy. Slight joining the party. A4 for Cryptic. And Darty on a FAMAS, no kit for the CT side, which could come back to bite this boss roster. Although with the three Galils, the helmets do make a lot more sense than they otherwise would. Getting the extra utility does come through as well. But that extra utility has almost completely fleeted as there's no more incendiaries left for boss with a minute 35 to go. They have three smokes, three flashbangs for the entire rest of this mat of this round. And that nade from Donoko actually damages him instead of anybody else. So we start the round at this point pretty much even in terms of health. An interesting utility swap there. But overall, Slight's going to have to solo the ace site. And that's exactly where Laser are leaning three towards main two through Donut. And the flash is all the utilities Slight has to work with. In comes the counter nades from the CT side and Landon. Opens that up perfectly. Double dink with the Galil. Space being not taken by lasers. They actually pumped the brakes a little bit. Waiting for more utility to come through before planting the bomb. And Boss are calling it with four alive to save. And it's actually a really good call. They have no retake utility, no kit. No reason to waste these guns in a five-man hold. It was a gamble very early, though. Probably necessitated by their lack of utility. A little bit worrying in terms of signs for boss in the early goings. Isolus Laser. Convert their bonus. Keep five up. Get an M4 upgrade as well for one of those Galil players. And looking very solid going to a 3-0 lead. Boss, though, will be able to get that investment off the back of the four-man save. Fruit cup, fruit cup or Cryptic could drop a rifle and then forego utility, or Slight can just get an MP9 and they can maximize their utility. Maybe even a scout for the Opera, who knows? Looks like Freshie's actually going to buy him an M4A1S instead. Again, foregoing utility on his part, but everybody else should have a full belt at the ready. 
and the kits coming through as well on Fruit Cup and Slight. That will enable more chances for a retake. They have incendiaries on four, good amount of nades, smokes across the board. Much stronger look utility-wise for Moss, and this should give them a much better chance at winning the round. I do like that idea, too, of just full saving after losing the one on the gamble. If you have your four-man hold, you're probably not going to lose it. If you have one there, you only lose one. You get the rifles back up and essentially have a stronger round here in round four instead of running out of opportunities. But Danoko up cat will get one. Freshy trades that back as Cryptic is down for the count of good flashbang, helping out Danoko on that initial. The smoke helping as well as he plays around that perfectly. Four versus four. Good amount of space for laser to work with. They still have yet to make a commitment either way. Very spread out. Two on the A side, one mid, one towards B. That is Tatazin. No stranger to the North American scene. Last seen here with Yeah Gaming a long time ago now, but it's good to have him back in action. That was one roster with Pone alone and Swisher and Fast Zine. That was a roster. That was a kind fun of... roster. I missed them. It's all over the place, but a very, very fun one. A fun time in North American Counter Strike. It's a very slow round, even trades, 40 seconds remaining, Freshie's playing back of A. This is a very scary spot to play when you're alone, because you have no support, you have no one to run distraction, and that means that they maul you, you're just forced into the open. He tries to delay, and it works Freshie too before he burns alive. That's a big pair to find. Slight was supporting, albeit from a distance. He's rotated in now around in towards Temple. 20 seconds left, W1 finally getting the bomb, but Slight has slinked forward, and he might just drop the bomb planter as he attempts to put it to dirt. Slight pushing forward now, hearing the sound cue. Darty as well, pushing CT. Tata Zine finds the player at the temple, but Darty slinking in towards the gap of CT spawn. Out the smoke he goes, and two he finds. Moss finding them both, and Boss finding a round at last on the board. Boss two rounds, though. Boss at least. At least an AK out of the round. The utility will have to be reinvested as well, but what a hold from Freshie. In the fire. Peeks out. Calm as a as can be. That was the calmest I've seen Freshie in a while in that kind of a situation. Just no pressure, no fuss. Sprays down the first, sprays down the second, and then still has about 30 HP left and just lets himself die at that point because there's nothing he can do to get out of it. But he's just like, you know what? I resigned to my fate. I got my two. I did my job. Good luck to everybody else. And boy, did he do his job. He got the first as well to trade it back in Avenging Cryptic. But Dinoko's going to take some damage. W1 up on a middle as well. Waits for a flashbang. Cryptic trades that again. An early trade out towards middle. And Slight now up towards Snake. Will strike with the off. That is a big pick to get the advantage early for Boss. As they don't have as much utility as they did last round. The money again. A concern for the CT side given their casualties sustained in the last round. Big boost there to get the op activated early. La early. Landon does have one of his own in the bomb as well. Slight is holding, Landon crouching in, flash dodged by Slight, he'll go in, what a shot by Slight, takes a leg, but he's able to get out of here at least alive for now. Smoke to guys the escape, Molotov to force him forward, but he holds his line. And now a two-man advantage for Boss to work with, 57 seconds to go. Moth out mid, Tatazine joining him up, and Cryptic holding A and mid with the A site proper exposed. And the bomb going back to B? It's a big gap. A donut flank oh, they could really set things off in motion. Tatazin, though, no. caught. The aggression from Fruit Cup makes sense. He had support as well, if needed, from Darty. And now it's Moth, as we mentioned, slinked into the donut. But now alone on A with 25 seconds left, he's just going to try to save his rifle for the following. Four surviving for Boss is a big boon for the CT economy. It gets the ball rolling for them. And they will have pretty much broken this T side economy with one more round. W1, Moth, and Tatazin have a bit of money left in the bank. I'm not sure they'll be able to drop their teammates at Danoko and Lenden. Well, boss two rounds in a row once the guns really came out in full force. Last round expertly played from Slight. That's good to see from the op early on the CT side. And now it's Laser's turn to struggle to get a full buy up around. They'll have AKs on four. Landon will not have an op. Instead, he'll be relegated to a Tech 9. Decent amount of utility for this T side. Danoko on a Galil as well. But boss now have an opportunity to build up some cash. 
and they will need to build up this cash early. They're already down three rounds on the CT side of Ancient. They want to close this gap and get a nice lead. Dinoko again, undeterred up Snake. He continues to strike a W1 this time. Catches Freshy with too many targets to take. Darty backs away from Cave. Wise decision. Look at the health hemorrhaging off of Laser. But they've done good damage in the early going. Darty will smoke. Allowing Fruit Cup to try to push forward. Landon spotting for it and gets the dink on the tech through the smoke. Everything's working well for Laser in this round despite the damage sustained. And Boss are left reeling, trying to recover some control of this round. However, that control seems much harder to find as they've gotten zilch back in, barely even any information. And Darty has to anchor this site down like a master. There's no utility to really force him away, except for Tata Zane, who's entering. So that's a boom, but the shadow, not enough for Darty. Fruit Cup, what can he do here? One, two, but only two. Save from Slight, and Laser will maintain the lead and double it in round count. Yes, they will. Slight saving the op is a big deal. And Boss, again, because of that prior... Ooh, maybe he oh, no. won't be allowed to save. Walking middle, the no-scope doesn't connect. Well, the second, he's going for it. Shotgun opping does not pan out for Slight. He got a little bit too proactive on his save. If he sat back on a side or temple, he would have lived. But instead, he goes into the maw that is Moth at middle. 4-2, as you mentioned. The economy from Boss is good enough to get an investment, There are, but there are going to be compromises. Freshy doesn't have much utility at all. Cryptic is on just a deagle. Slight as well. Not a lot of utility. And there is no kit in play to add insult to injury. Isolus Laser heavily favored going into round 7. And they know it. They're going to go aggressive middle, getting control for virtually free. Cryptic needs to be very careful around this smoke in red. Freshy being proactive in A main has seen nothing. Cryptic's Deagle needs to strike. If he goes for a peek, which he will do, doesn't see that the Zine who's tucked away in house. Very slow round again from Laser on this T side. It feels like they're almost goading Boss into these fights. Aside from that snake push every round, the rest of it is very methodical from this T side. And it Slide's got to be so careful, too. It's all down to timing and whether or not he checks that right corner because Tathazine has not moved an inch a millimeter. And as he does, the op is recovered, or at least at the feet of Tathazine. Fruit Cup will get one and two on his M4A1 push. Darty follows it up and eliminates Moth. Tathazine's caught as well as Cryptic's Deagle strikes for a critical kill, leaving Dinoko in a one versus three as boss have come alive and it's the new kid on the block again another multi-kill and giving some life over to this boss side we asked somebody to join up with cryptic and right now it's been fruit cup and freshy as the spear tips consistently and Dinoko will not even be allowed to plant freshy's got this on lock and boss will cut the deficit back to one keep three alive grab a couple ak's get the op back in hand as well but that ct economy ever in turmoil and ever per positioned on a precipice it's never stable it's not the three surviving will give them some economy if things get difficult going forward Isolus laser speaking of they're at a crossroad the difficult spot they're going to invest but it's ugly moth has an ak tata zine has a mac 10 alongside dinoko landed in w1 a pair of tech nines what is the call going to be it looks like a play towards a four stacked up outside one up towards Snake in Dinoko. We want, I believe, lining up a smoke for CT spawn. Slide needs the opening here. If he gets peaked, can't miss this kill. Spots. So he smells a rat here. He's going to back away instead. Does not want to stick around and get pushed from middle. Here's the smokes and flashes towards A. Lex to take a safer, a safer fight. Help out Freshy as well. As the bomb will rotate out to mid, another very methodical, very slow round from Laser. Living up to the opposite of their name, as a matter of fact, Nate. You'd expect with a name like Laser, they'd be fast and precise. Instead, 
they move about quite a bit. I guess they are taking the full uh, wave of function of light and kind of leaving the particle part out of it. They're always going for these delayed takes middle as well. Mm -hmm. Waiting for the utility to dry up and then going. And Simrana does pay off, at least in the early goings. Towards Donut they go. It's one to start things off, but two from Slight and Returning. Cryptic is here to support as well. Finding one tagged low, but Fruit Cup finds a kill. Donoko, a flank in red room is good for one, but only one. A far cry from an actual round victory. Three survive once again for Boss as they tie things up. And now we can say with confidence, the T-side economy has been broken. And a timeout used as well by Laser, which will allow them to figure out if they want to go all in again. I would caution against such a tactic. Well, you should see Glocks, and Glocks alone. But Nate, one thing to note as well, taking a timeout outside of a gun round is an interesting call. Because you don't go in with a strat fresh in your mind. You're going into your gun round with... I'm not going to say a round that saps confidence, but it's not exactly fun to just get murdered when you, all you have is stock pistols. It's not. Some teams will like to use these kind of full save rounds as timeouts. And I can respect that call. I think we saw Nouns do it relatively recently. We did, yeah. It has fallen out of vogue in the last couple of years, but you do still see it from time to time. Well, we that also does... hardly ever see full Glock rounds. That is true. And it's not a full Glock round. Technically, the Noko and Tata Zine have E250s. But realistically, this is as close to a Glock round as you get nowadays. Yeah, no piss, no uh, utility to back up the pistols. Nobody has armor. There's no raid boss. There's no hero rifle coming through. We see that so many times these days. This is as close to a full eco as it gets in the modern game. Beyond round two, yeah. Round two, you'll get the, the full eco, but... Have your economy broken this badly is a rarity. Freshy again on the A anchor, but he has a read of the economy. He doesn't want to be close. He doesn't want to be mobbed down by pistols. It's the right call. He's playing far back from CT. Slight isn't donut though. And if he gets crunched upon, it will be a difficult proposition. Luckily for him though, no such crunch is coming through. Three on B. Again, this kind of hands off middle approach to spotting from donut instead. That's slight. Here comes the take, though. Out towards A. Slight gets the spot on the first. A second, and Freshy gets a third. The USP's out for Slight. He'll find the fourth. The last alive is mid, and now he's heard. Op out for Slight. He's holding the angle. Misses the shot, but the P250 cannot seize the day on that opportunity. It's Slight to find another. A 4K for him, one for Freshy, and the lead for Boss in the later stages of this first half. Only a few more rounds to go. The anti-penultimate coming up. And no op for Landon. It's going to be AKs and a decent amount of utility, all things considered. A lack of Molotovs is a concern for the T side, but at least Dinoko has smoke to work with as well. Two Molotovs, one on W1 and one on Tatazin. Slight will go back towards A as an anchor this time as Freshy will go to B. And Cryptic will play towards mid. It's a full-on A blitz, though. They're just running it out. Slight's going to hear it. Molotov's a little bit late. He actually is lucky to get out of that first contact alive and is able to take one with it before he's inevitably dropped. Cryptic pops up for one on the trade, but land in there to return it and level it to a three versus three. Freshy coming in through CT, Fruit Cup, and Darty in towards Donut. No A main control, but it has been watched for by Laser. They're expecting a potential flank as the bomb still waffling about towards A main, not making a full commitment towards the site proper. No utility besides one singular flashbang for Laser. That resides on Tatazin. Freshy back in CT, keeping an eye on anybody through middle. A bit more passive here. Moth on site. And Boss are thinking about peeking in. They're going to go for a nice little double swing. Darty double dinks Moth. And so Landon and Tatazine with a lot of work to do. And time is running out for them. 48 seconds to go. Utility again, that one flash. And Boss, I like how they're not exactly scrambling here. They're getting a bit more information back towards B. But they're playing buddy system with Darty and Freshy, which is a very good... Oh, the spot on the Tatazine! Darty's got another one. They've abandoned the A-side, though, and Landon's going to get a free plant here at the very least. I don't think Fruit Cup's going to be close enough to stop it. Never mind, Freshy's back. And while he doesn't get the kill, there's Fruit Cup over in Donut, who will crawl forward and 
finish off the job. The CT economy good enough to sustain the three casualties. And so boss will at least guarantee six out of this half, which, considering the 03 start, a very good resurgence. It is. I was very worried after that first rifle round, but they have assuaded those very cleanly. A good start for them. They're looking fluid. They're looking more comfortable, I think, is the biggest thing to me. Freshie's looking confident and calm, as is Slight. He's being allowed to do his business. Cryptic's had a Darty slower too. start, but you would be expected that's expected on the CT side. And as you mentioned, yeah, Darty is hitting his stride. Fruit Cup as well. Not disappointing as a potential star rifler in this team. He's all this laser again. Gonna pick up the pace. It's a half by, and it's gonna be towards B, it looks like. They're getting snake control quickly. That does seem as well pushing the middle very quickly. Darty needs to be careful here. He's doubled up in towards cave. That leaves Freshie alone on the site to get mobbed down. W1 good for one. Cryptic though in the back lines are ready for a quick trade. Fruit Cup as well chimes in. And then in Tatazin. Final pair. Tatazin in the chaos. Did flank through middle. Did drop slight. I was going to say that gives them an opportunity to go towards A. But Bomb is down at the feet of the CTs. That means that... Tatazin is probably going to save this op for the following. Yeah, they, I think saving the op for the final round is a good idea. He has armor, he has a good amount of utility. He can give that op and the tech nine over to Landon. Meanwhile, for boss, Fresh, he just gets a little unlucky there. Nothing he can really do against a tech nine run. But everybody does the job well. Cryptic and Fruit Cup are there to hold the site. And despite the fast paced rush, Laser can't really get anything done, but Tatazin and Landon looking like they're going to go for this. At least they're gearing up for it. They do have some utility. Flash is going to go through. Dodged well by Dark. Cryptic will peek in for info. See nothing. Smoke goes long. More utility out. And Darty sprays while blind. Able to get the first and the second too. Calm and collected again from Darty. And Boss will have seven. If they could make it eight, that would be a statement. They would win eight of the last nine rounds of the half. And they've got plenty of everything to get the op back for Slight saved over. He's got money to drop over to Cryptic so he can get a full belt of utility. It's the last round of the half, and both teams will have a buy. And they're leaving an M4 in spawn, too, in case Slight needs it for a retake. That's always a good little heads-up play. Hopefully you don't need it, but it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Molotov denies Landon as Freshie will push forward instead. And Boss looking very comfortable. I'm glad you mentioned it. I thought they were looking comfortable, but you're the Boss aficionado, and I wanted to wait for you to say it before I said anything else, and I have to concur. Looking comfortable. They're looking clean. They're looking aggressive. But not Specifically like frantic aggressive. No, they're not, like, grasping the straws. They're getting aggressive as part of their protocol. Pressing down B ramp. Pressing A main. In control of the extremities and kind of going hands off towards middle. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Denoko spots Darty as the smoke blooms. It looks like e Solo Laser have found their footing in the final round of this first half as they enter in towards B. Light, not long for the world, finally finished off by Denoko, leaving Freshie that a site anchor in a 1 versus 4. And he's caught from the side. It's a 7-5 half as we hit the halftime break.
Wearing start 0-3 for Boss ends in a comfortable 7-5 lead as they enter the T side of Ancient. It's Pineapple Phillips and Boggs to bring you the action. And Boss looking to extend their lead with a victory on T side Pistol. Two sets of utility on Freshy and Slight. Smokes, Flashes, and a Molotov between the two. Double Dually Super Soldiers for the Noko and Moth, and a kit purchased for Landon. A lot of utility being invested for E Solo Slazer in this pistol. And very early contact taken by Cryptic, the IGL entry, not finding much. Moth Zara doubling down, but Fruit Cup in kind finds a pair of his own to bring things back to even footing. Three versus three. Landon trying to tap around the smoke. It looks like the T side smoke Ooh. was blocked over towards Long, but it's not proving to be any sort of issue here for the Fruit Cup team. He's putting the squad in the backpack. He's got three to his name, looking for the ace as well. Tata Zine and W1 both coming around, trying to put this player to bed, but it's Fruit Cup with four. Fruit Cup, not the ace, but it feels like he's done enough for this T side of boss. Fruit Cup hopes he's done enough because he'll be very upset if he hasn't done enough. And I think that is a justifiable anger. The time is running out, although W1 does have a kit. He'll tap it, gets dinked, and finished off by Freshy. So Fruit Cup does the bulk, Freshy cleans it up, and Boss win the T-side pistol round to kickstart their half and try and finish this one off early. Isolos Laser, do they force or do they save? Giving Boss 9 is probably the more wise course of action. And that seems to be the case. They will follow as well. W1's not even going to invest into a P250. Oh, there he goes back for the P250. Second guesses and third guesses. P250 for W1. USPs for the rest. Back 10 on 3 boss players. They are farming for cash. And they'll use those in the following round as well. Try and get some serious money on a bonus. They will not have Crypto clear the right side. Fruit Cup will actually entry in. Darty 1, 2, 3 on the Mac. And Fruit Cup 2 on the AK. Nine rounds for boss. Just one casualty. Keep the rifles. So have the th having the third rifle will actually be a nice boost to boss's T side here on the bonus. And Laser buying what they can. Only one incendiary. No kit. Helms on all five. But will we see something similar to what Boss did in their second round of that CT half? Or third round, I should say. Where they gamble stack one side, save if it doesn't go their way. Have to wait and see. Early utility thrown by Boss as expected on the map of Ancient. Slow round for this T side. They want to see what Isolos Laser have in mind. A slow walk cat for Boss. A third holding the ramp. Two now getting control of another. They're going to split within. Looks like Donoko's here. He's holding from Red Room. He's already falling back and jump spotting instead. W1 is also here to support, but he's in Donut. He might just get tested here early on as Cryptic is beginning to slink forward. He wants the fight, but he doesn't take it in Donut. He just runs up through middle, and W's, W1's going to get that easy kill onto the... In game leader that's a a questionable individual decision there from cryptic to not actually clear all the way through donut and it costs him boss will be playing down a map but there's no utility for laser here it's all going to come down to the fights and fruit cup one on the entry he's taken down by the zine but a blind darty is able to trade him out for the three versus three Palm um, down moth spraying and praying but not getting his answer yet with a kill on the flank though slight removed darty one for one leaving freshy in the one versus two but this is where freshy can come through big time for boss one spots the second as well plays his time right buys the clock knows it's not a stick but tonoko just a little bit wider than freshy was anticipating it's the headshot with the a1s it's a three piece for tonoko only one surviving four laser means their economy in shambles and boss more than enough money darty has eighty one hundred dollars nate with five kills on the mac 10 in two rounds money to drop cryptic fruit cup can drop the op to slight and boss will have more than enough buy to wise to counter laser in this round landon gets a zoom banger of his own though that's an interesting anecdote to note as well as the two smgs for laser and mp9 and a ump Will Boss be prepared for this kind of a weird buy with a distinct lack of utility across the board? 
but still the firepower of the op and a couple of good close range guns in the SMGs. It's a big question. They'll know the buy's gonna be all over the place because of that only one player surviving. And this round is arguably more important than the first victory for E Solo Slazer. They lose this mm -hmm. round, their economy's gonna be sent back to the Stone Age. And they will be reset. Boss would get this round and the one off the back as a result. So pressure is on. Early engagements. See, slight tag down to 20. Landon is the one to actually get the opening duel. He catches slight. Fruit Cup as well as tagged down to below half. Slow round for Boss, but a lean towards B. It's going to be a commitment as well. Isolus Laser have an inkling that this is the play in mind. They have a third player in quick rotation. That's Donoko holding Red Room. And they have W1 through A main as well. Boss need to go quickly if they want to commit to this B site take. That's what they're doing. Utilities going in. Counter util from Laser to try and stall, but Boss are going to entry in. Darty leading the charge. Freshy going in with a bomb as well. One spotted towards Cubby. Do they clear out the second? Yes, they do. Fruit Cup and Cryptic. What a piece. This double entry duo that we talked about. This potential coming to fruition here on round 16. Bomb down. 4v3 favoring Boss, but no utility. Do they watch the flank? Yes, they do. Great read. Great shot from Darty. Leaving Landon and Tinoco in a very unenviable two versus four, which they will wave the white flag in instead and save what they have boss will grab 10 and the all-important two rounds in a row will not come to fruition for Isolus laser instead it will be an isolated victory for the ct side and an already poor ct economy will look even worse following this loss it'll definitely be dour smgs at most around these two saved weapons if they even want to go drop for the investment M4. Barely. We'll have no utility. And I'm not sure if he wants to go with that proposition or not. They might just call a save now with two rifles to give them some hope. But no. Or maybe. Moth has dropped his pistol, but you have to see a commitment in terms of investment. Yeah, it's going to be a save for E Solo Slazer. Boss as well. Full rifles. The ops still in play for Slight. They're well set up to find an 11th. And if they drop those two saved rifles as well, I'm not sure Isolos Laser will be able to buy an op in the following. Yeah, I don't think so, because it'll be 20, 2,400 loss. Uh, no armor. Maybe a vest, but not a good place to be when you want the op to be in play and for laser their star man and moth has underperformed massively as well it's been getting uh snubbed He's, as you mentioned their star 84.5 adr for him landon trades out teammate Danoka with a kill on to freshy it's had solid impact but a quiet overall map flank from pistols as well coming in quickly towards his cave for cup they're already wise to it should have the still better rights does the damage all but confirmed. Both rifles are towards CT spawn. They're already heading for the hills as well. They know how important that op is, as we mentioned. If they don't save it, they won't be able to buy it. So they need to make absolutely certain that it stays alive. They're bringing over both the pistol players as well. Actually, it looks like Tatazin has found an upgrade for his troubles, as it has a W1. So two rifles will be brought over alongside that op. And that will make a potent rifle buy for E Solos Laser in round number 18. The question is, will that potent rifle buy lead to victories or will Boss continue their tear? Well, Boss's tear only needs two more rounds to put this one to bed. Boss are knocking on the door of best of one victory, number one. And starting to really cement themselves in that top six in the standings as well which is where you want to be don't want to have to play through the lower bracket four through uh seven through ten rather play in the lower bracket one through six play in the upper bracket and one and two play in the second round of the upper bracket in the way the 10 team playoff works now in north american ecl but there is the buy from laser with the saved ak's the saved op they have plenty of guns the utility a little bit sparse again, though. No Molotovs except for one left this early on into the round is a big concern. There's no real retake utility either. That the Zee needs a nade, and Danoko kind of following up what he did on the T side, this time pushing through middle, walking up Snake. Might even just get run into here. 
Very curious to see how that snake engagement works out when the smoke fades between him and Darty, Fruit Cup, and everybody sitting out bottom B main. B the ramp area. Then Oko, one on the drop. Chased back. Going into middle. Waits for Freshy and takes him down as well. I'm surprised that Fruit Cup wasn't activated there. It would have been a wide swing. He's more paranoid about the spider cave. There could have been somebody posted in that off angle. It's a difficult thing to do to not commit, as you mentioned, but I think it's the right call. Walk up B is the play now for the remaining trio. Fruit Cup finds Mothzera. Tata Zine, though, doubles onto the player's ramp. That's a bomb down, if I'm not mistaken. And the final kill as well secured for Tata Zine, cementing the round with a 3k. And Isolos Laser keeping boss off of map point with the victory there. And a convincing one as well as they keep a majority of the squad alive. Boss, though, with their economic advantage, are still able to reinvest into round number 19. Yeah, I don't think Boss were ready for that push from Dinoko, and the second kill really starts to cement that round. If Freshy trades out Dinoko, completely different story. They can audible back towards A, they have a lot more space in the middle, but instead, they're forced to fight it out towards B. A great flash comes through, blinds the two Boss players, and they weren't able to get back around. That slide already chunked down significantly as well. Moth with an opportunity to get back in. May peek with a smoke, and that will be his undoing. Gives Slight all the information he needs for the free peek, despite his low HP. And now Landon and Tatazine will pick up the paces in towards K. Tatazine beginning to entry in, spotted by Darty, who will force him away with a spray. In the meantime, though, Slight was caught by Danoko again, running around through middle. He seems to be a very free-spirited player. And three players towards B ramp moving down. Fruit Cup has a really good read on this. He'll get spotted by the op, however, and not be able to do anything. All that information, though, gained and relayed to Darty Montana. The bomb, however, all the way back outside of the A site, not under the control of Boss. The Noko needs something, but he gets nothing. Freshy upgrades to a rifle. The rotations are coming through, and Boss can still back out Boss of A and go back to B. B. I think that's exactly what they're going to do here. Leave Freshy to just sow chaos and dissension. And the Flash is not even going to do anything for Freshy. They're going to go in free. Not a free kill for Freshy. As the bomb gets planted, Laser will know what's going on. But Cryptic and Darty have a prime opportunity to lock this down. It all starts with one from Darty here, preferably two as the smoke goes boom. Darty won, but traded out by the op, leaving Cryptic in a one versus two. And his op's been clean, but can it unseat the IGL, the mastermind of this boss T side? Cryptic is normally the entry. This time he has to clutch. Swinging out is one pound, but again, the op of Landon has been quick with trades. It has three in the round, and it saves it in the dying embers of it. 8 to 11 secured, but with only one surviving, this CT economy is going to continue to struggle. They have three that have more than enough to buy. Actually, Landon has a lot as well. That was much more dire than it was. Moth will get dropped the rifle easily. Boss, that plant helps their economy somewhat, but not enough to justify investment. They're going to go for a save instead. Some pistols, maybe a quick play towards A. We haven't really, haven't really seen that. Maybe a quick play towards middle. We haven't seen that either. Straight through donut, perhaps. We'll have to see what they have in mind, but I'm hoping for a change of pace on the pistols. I agree. A uh, quick play B seems to be on the cards as the smoke will bloom. Cryptic will still charge right on through it, giving the information to his team that it's safe to aggress. Dinoko's coming down. Cryptic unable to convert the kill, but Darty there for the trade. They know Moth is around as well. But Thazine one for one. Can they take out Moth? Zera? No! He's the Moth man here, gobbling them all up. And Slight. Nothing he could really do there. He turns away expecting a player down ramp. I think he has a better kill there. But either way, nothing really from the boss pistols. Just a couple of kills, allowing that CT economy to not exactly stabilize, but get a breath of fresh air. Actually, no, the CT... It's stabilized. Yeah, it's stabilized. That's... Mm, okay, two players good. Three players in the danger zone. It's still decent, though, and... Only two rounds separating these two teams. Boss are starting to run out of steam here as we get towards the tail end of this map and they need to find a way to crack this open for the last two rounds if they want to take this one in regulation. There's still another best of one to go after this too. And the CT side keeps getting more and more confident. Moth goes forward for another. Traded out, which will favor the T side. Unfortunately for Freshy, none of those guns are recoverable right now. T's bottom mid towards A and the rifles are down towards Snake. And the damage sustained by Fruit Cup is also going to 
hold him at bay for at least a little bit. Utility drawing up on the CT side, but it's not like that's been too big of a difference. Just key flash is one round for Laser. Yeah, the CT side getting confidence is a very scary proposition for Boss. They can't even run their defaults now without being harassed. We'll have to see how they respond. Still a four versus four, recoverable. Fresh as you mentioned on the Mac 10 though, he's also holding mill. It's not a very fun spot to play with an SMG. Landed again this up. It looked good, but it's been caught looking. Cryptic entering with his AK finds the headshot. Tata Zine on site does damage, but no kill found. Instead, it's the Noko to drop Freshie on the lurk. 3v2 as the bomb goes down. W wanting so much damage, but he does bring it back to even footing. The issue is W1 and the Noko, a combined HP of 27. Is it probably not going to attempt this retake? Simply don't have the HP required. That means boss will finally limp towards around number 12. All that matters to boss right now is getting the job done. It's not exactly a map they play often. It's not exactly their favorite map. Their notable wins are against fluffy aimers and take flight on this map. So it's not like boss are prime ancient players. So for them, just get this one over the line. Doesn't matter if you're limping, you're broken and battered. You got the job done. That's the thing with this this veto. This first map veto really opened the door for Laser to have the opportunity to take this one from Boss. Laser's best map, or second best map, aside from Dust 2. And they put up a good fight. Boss just seemed to have had a better read on the CT side and have had the individual impact when it mattered across the board. I mean, look at Fruit Cup. 22 and 11 right now, Nate. 2.0 KD. If you can sustain Ooh. that through, that would be fantastic. Also a 1 KPR stat line as well. Good to note. Dinoko expected. Eats a little bit of nade damage. He has a little bit of help as well, but he'll get finished off by Cryptic reading that play well. That is something Laser have tried round after round, and finally it's punished. Opening pick for boss. Minimal damage taken. Landon has that off. He's been great with this, and he will not miss on to Slight. Darty and a second Molotov as well, but Landon's not going to be able to get out of this alive. He's a... How, how does he I'm find the one like pixel he's safe at? That is incredible. And there's a great flashbang to get Laser back into this. Just cryptic and fresh. He left alone. Suddenly, the tables have turned. Yes, they have. I like the idea at the start for boss, but the op of Landon sticks around on A, and that is their undoing. W1 catches the Lurk of Cryptic, and that leaves Freshie in a main alone and locked behind a smoke. Bomb is at the feet of Tata Zin. Freshie is going to wait, bide his time, make these players second guess which location he's coming from, and then he'll re-aggress. He's going to try to find something, but again, with so many players here, it's going to be near impossible. Tries to find the first and the second, misses the mark on both. AK secured it for Moth. And 10-12 for Isolo Slazer. Still trailing by two, but they're getting closer and closer. Boss as well. Their economy is kind of battered and broken. They might go for a save here. And again, I liked their read. Punish that pressure on Cat with a fake. And send players A. The issue was that Isolo Slazer did not bite off the kill from Cryptic. That's what Boss will be banking on. Yeah, it didn't pull enough and so boss back to the drawing board cryptic has the hero rifle eats a little bit of damage on the initial as well darty has armor so he can pick that up should cryptic fall tech nine on darty as well glocks on the rest utility going in not really doing much at all fruit cup running it down how does he get the freebie in a second combined with darty somehow some way oh. darty's got a second and cryptic strikes for a third landon's the last alive there's four out here for boss and only the op up against them how has this gone horribly wrong for laser the glock for one everybody else finds the rest darty a massive performance three in the round and 19 on the game he had a whale of a game. Slight had a good, solid performance. But what a resurgence from Boss individually compared to what we have seen from them. And, well, we're going to have our player to watch coming up in a little bit. Spoiler alert, it was Fruit Cup. Spoiler 